Hey, Wilmington here. And I want to answer a question from a guy that I got under my how to properly pull away to regain a woman's interest video. And so this guy has a question as it pertains to pulling away to, to gauge if a woman actually has high interest in you. By the way, for more of these videos, subscribe, like this video, and also check out introvertdatingsuccess.com for my eBooks and programs. So let's get into this guy's question. So his question is, what about pulling back slightly to gauge how interested she is? I went out a couple of times with this girl, but I have had to initiate all the contact and basically do all the legwork. I kind of pulled back a little and haven't asked for a third date just to see if she will reciprocate some energy. I figure if I don't hear from her again, then my suspicion that she has low interest is correct. So I will say this, you know, in the beginning, you're going to be doing most of the reaching out. Like it's just the, the reality, the way things are. You're going to be the one asking for dates and especially women that are leaning towards being more in their feminine and more traditional. The more they're in that lane, then they're going to do less stuff that today's modern woman would do, including reaching out. And I've talked about on this channel before how a woman that has high interest after like two or three dates, she may start trying to reach out in between the days that you're going to be waiting to ask for dates. But that's not all the time, because, again, you could be dating a woman that has high interest in you, and yet and still, she will not text a whole lot, not call a whole lot, she'll stay off the phone, and she'll wait for you to ask for the date. This is why I tell you guys that as a generality, using texting as a barometer for her interest is very flawed, because yes, you may have women that don't mind reaching out, and some women that, as they're building their interest, they will start to reach out a bit more, but I don't typically tend to gauge how much a woman's texting me as the total read for where her interest is. I look for something very, very simple, which is when I ask for the date, is she saying yes? And then is she showing up on time? And then during said date, is she showing me these signs in person that indicate that she has growing interest? Is she laughing at my unfunny jokes? Is she touching her hair? Or is she trying to mirror me when I'm moving around? Is she trying to do these uh, non-sexual touches on me to let me know that, oh, I'm actually built? Like those are things that are really going to be better reads for her building interest in you more so than the phone, all right? So in terms of you saying that you had to initiate all the contact initially and basically do all the legwork, yeah, that's typically what's going to happen in the beginning. Again, even with women that have a high interest, the reality is part of what attracts them is knowing that you are attracted to them and that you're putting in the work to show that you have said attraction and that you're trying to, you know, buy for their attention, you know? And then as she starts to feel more and more things for you, that's going to flip flop to where she will start doing more things to get your attention. But honestly, between dates one to date like four or five, it can take a minute for a woman's interest to build up to that level where she's going to do that. Or just based on her training and conditioning, she might think, okay, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be hitting him up and looking like that woman that's just so needy for his attention. And, you know, women have their dating history too. Women have been told, hey, if you're constantly on the phone with a guy all the time, he could start thinking that you're too needy or that you're desperate, or he might end up knowing he could use you for a hookup and then be, go away, right? And so sometimes on their end of things, not all the time, because this, as a generality, as when women build interest, they'll hit you up more. But I've, I've dated women that had high interest and just were like, either A, I'm just not a phone person, or also, yeah, they grew up traditionally where the guy's supposed to reach out and it's her job on her end to accept said dates and then get on these dates and be a willing participant and actually show a good time and be cordial to the guy and show that she's interested. So this is why I say, yeah, you're going to feel like you're doing the legwork, but also, also, I find that usually guys who say this are also guys that are doing a bit too much as it pertains to the phone in particular, because you're saying you're the one that's doing the legwork and reaching out. And that sounds like you could potentially, because I don't know you, could potentially be a guy that in between dates is also trying to start conversations, is trying to do things to build rapport with her via text or phone calls. And then you notice that she's not like uh, initiating those same things back. And you're wondering, well, why is it I'm always reaching out and she's not? And, and the answer is, is you're not supposed to be doing that. You're, you're not supposed to be reaching out in between days that you're asking her for dates. I tell you guys nonstop, you take her on a date, show her a great time, and then you wait a minimum of four days 
before you reach out again to ask her for a date. My question is, A, are you waiting those four days? Because if you're, if you're not, then that's a big portion of why you feel like you're doing all this legwork that is actually unnecessary. And B, or two, when you are reaching out, is she saying yes to the date? If she consistently says yes, then you're good. During the first four to five dates, what you should not be expecting is for her to reach out and for her to ask you for a date. It could happen. And you, you could, and during this time, you should still be dating other women so you get a better gauge overall of the various women that you're dating and how interested they are based on doing what. But yeah, you're going to be the one that is going to be asking her out. And so that means if you're waiting four days and you're like, it's been four days, she hasn't reached out to me. That is also surprisingly normal. Like there was a time in history where like messaging and phones didn't exist and people still managed to get together. You know what happened? A guy would take a girl on a date, show her a good time, walk her back to her house, maybe give her a kiss on the cheek. And then he would not see her for like a week until he would call her up and ask her out again. So you got to assume guy that not every woman is going to be playing phone tag with you and is not losing interest in you just because she's not reaching out. Again, some women have been taught that that is the man's job. And so all she's doing in this case is letting you lead. So again, I ask you, is she, are you asking her on dates? And is she saying yes? Beyond that, I don't see any pulling back going on here. You've already had two dates. But what's happening now is you're getting in your head about what all this means. Like, oh, she's not reaching out. So I don't, I'm not aware of her interest yet. It's too early to have a full read of her interest. And it also, she's spending the first couple of dates building up her interest to see what you're like, how consistent you are, can she trust you, etc. This is not the time to be like, it's been two dates and so she needs to hit me up for the next one. That is a bad game plan. Like, you can do it, but all she's going to think is, huh, I said yes to the first two dates and now he's not asking me out anymore. He must not be interested. Uh, he must have low interest in me. Maybe it's something I did, but I'm the girl and I don't want to ask him. So I guess rather than embarrass myself and ask him what's up, I'm going to just move on. And that's going to be your fault because you're not asking her on dates. So you've had two dates. I'm going to assume you're only asking her out once a week. Just keep doing that. And at some point down the line, it might, it might take four dates. It might take eight dates. At some point, you might, she might be, you might be able to have a conversation with her on one of these dates. Hey, by the way, if you ever just want to reach out and, you know, if you have a date idea that you want to, you know, offer me, like, I'd love to add that to the pile. Cause I've done it with women where it's like, I say, Hey, I can come up with great dates all the time, but I know there are some interests that you had that maybe I'm not aware of. So if you want to let me know the things that you're into, and if you're like, Hey, something's happening in my town and you want to reach out to me, Hey, I'm down to do that date. Just let me know what it is. And again, that conversation again should, should happen like around date four or five for these first few dates guy. Yes. You're doing the legwork because this is your time to prove to her that you are willing to put the work in to actually have a relationship. And as a man, I will say, I used to be mad at that. I used to be like, why do I got to put in all the work? And then once I started dating to the point where I got into relationships, my mind and my eyes opened to the fact that the women that I've dated do so much more for me than I ever did for them in the dating process. Like you're thinking, I got to reach out to her, like ask for a date. Women will shop for you, cook for you, clean for you, rub your feet down, give you great sex. They will like be your ride or die next to you when you're trying to start new business. Like you have no idea how much work a woman is potentially willing to put in for you once she's in a relationship with you. And all she's asking you to do or hoping that you're going to do rather is ask her out on dates and, and do that part of it. Like do your part to be the man to lead and ask for dates and plan dates and take them out. And I don't think that's too high of a price to ask for, given now that I've been in relationships, that I know that women are going to bring three or three to 10 times fold what you're bringing to these dating scenarios. So just something to consider. But hopefully that answers your question. For the rest of you guys, if you want to write me your question, you can either leave a comment under any of my videos or you can write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. I'll be happy to read your answer on air. And if you need a more deep dive answer into whatever you're going through, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching at introvertdatingsuccess.com. You can also go there to check out my eBooks, audiobooks, and other programs that are designed to help give you a leg up in your dating life and to better understand women. So thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>